Hello, you've reached the Sam and Max Freelance Police Dispatchery. Please let us know what needs to be blown up and we'll be on our way. I should have known you were going to say that. That's how I get. That's how I deal with spam calls. Yeah, I just. They hear the word freelance police and they hang the fuck up. I haven't had a, I haven't had one of those types of calls in about three months. I just ignore any phone number that I don't already have saved to my phone. Fair enough. Probably smarter, but what I did it was a little more fun. Yeah, I just registered on the no call list, which does nothing. Which I'm pretty sure is a uh, call me scammers registry. Yeah, it's real great that we have uh, these magical phone devices in our pockets that anybody can call. You call or text us and just be like, hey, would you be interested in getting scammed? Proof we're the smartest and dumbest generation at the exact same time. Yeah, yeah I have a, a, a. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a scam right here on my phone. Our kids will see what technology does to us and figure out that it's probably not the best to trust it with just about everything. Plus, Batman Beyond is a thing. The Scarecrow, instead of using toxins, drives the AIs and puts out a high pitch frequency, overloading the, the fear in the brains of people. Yeah. yeah, we got through, I got one through level, one of the complete level without us even acknowledging the game. Oh, right. Hold the phone is... It's one of the, uh... One of the Game Among games that Yahtzee was doing. So, you made 12 games that year? Yep. And this is, uh... They... They go, like, through many genres. And this is one of the Java games that I liked, so recorded a let's play. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this game is purposely infuriating. This. <laughs> Why does he keep doing the dip dippy-dippies? So that's just how he be. He's a bouncy man. <laughs> yeah, but uh... Yeah, I, I just... He got annoyed because the number... The person who went back was wrong. So... And if your stress level is high enough, it'll just go over the top and it'll, his hat will pop out. <laughs> and we'll be seeing that a couple of times during our watching. Oh, he complete, completed the level. Nice work. Good. Yeah, I wouldn't expect me to one-shot all these levels. Especially not the last one. You one-shotted the last two. Uh, but those were just the training levels. We'll get to the real hard stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, if you look at the top of the phone, you'll notice that the battery percentage is going down. And that's because the... It, it does wireless charging, but the batteries crap. Must be a brand new iPhone. Yeah. Yeah, they have to stand over by the charging 
the charger to get it to charge. But you have all your important documents on the other side of the room. Why not just bring the important documents over? He doesn't have arms, really, so... Presumably he just holds things the way Home Star Runner does. Strapping them right to his friggin' chest yeah. by slamming down onto them. Yeah. Oh, my Sophia, I can't go into my attic again. There's a squirrel that's stuck in there, and it sounds like a spooky ghost. Mm. Really nailing your Adam Sessler, Adam Sandler impersonation of Homestar Runner. Oh, my snot. Strong bad beat the snot out of me. Yeah, it's like an. There's at least uh, three Home Star Runner characters with no visible arms. Uh, which I think, it, which leads me to my final conclusion of the King of Town is an Eldridge of Abomination. Yeah. He's the. The devourer, everybody claims Kirby is. But Kirby uses the powers and spits them out later. What happens when you leave one of those powers alone? It turns back into its base form, back form, its spawn. Yeah, the, the king of town is mostly just like. I'm gonna eat a uh, wall and uh, asbestos, uh, the wall fell in. And he's fine after some gas. Yep. Yeah. So I, I called a number to get a number to call. That's kind of... Yeah, that's kind of the whole point of the game. He must be trying to get a doctor's appointment for his blood pressure. Uh, this is the... This is the level in which, uh... The art guy's, uh... Uh, IBS comes into play. Ah. Uh, so. You sorry. Uh, please call back when you have woken up. When you have woken up? Yeah. And they will respond in a variety of ways, such as when you have woken up. Or please try being more like a cheetah. The good thing is that it this now introduces the mechanic of periodically going to the bathroom, which is basically the only way to have his uh, stress meter go down. Oh, good to know. And it's only three levels? Eight levels. Oh, wow. The area we're in right now. Now look, here comes the death. And the area we're in is just the beginning room. Yeah, Mr. Lake, that's his name. Well, for obvious reasons. 
Iya. I could imagine if they went with Mrs. Legs. Well, we'll see his wife in an upcoming level. If the knees are jiggly, what else is? I'm sorry, that's the low flow. Yeah. Well, I described the, uh, the uh, art, art direction of, um, as being the like outside of the Mr. Lazy books. Didn't he like invent something to invent everything that comes out of his head? Uh, yeah, he did, which is by far the laziest thing ever. But we keep winding back at Kramer's keeping though. Are we in the Simpsons writing room? Oh, yeah. Or Futurama writing room? Yeah. Well, it's very... Let's test, let's test, let's test this out. If we find ourselves in a... getting pushed into a volcano after I say this, it's... that's the case. Star Trek. No one's looking at me angrily, so that's a good sign. Well, it's better than being in the Cyberpunk 2077 writer's room. It's not a bug, it's gender dysphoria, and it's a feature. Now, call them. Well, I'm going to look at the story writing of uh, 2077. It's just, you know, being part robot is like being trans, and that's bad. Go kill those wild trans robots. I need to pick up the tabletop RPG book. Game. I have to play a good cyberpunk game. We'll invite some people and I'll happily have you at my table. That could be possible. I know you're not the most socially affluent, but... See. So this wearing a mask to pretend that you're someone else who can handle social interaction and not be like this guy's battery. Yeah. Looking at cyberpunk games is Deus Ex System Shock. Uh, Vow Hall, Vow Eleven Hall, Hall A, Cloud Punk, uh, Beneath the Steel Sky, Blade Runner, Katana Zero, Snatcher, uh, uh, Sense of Sense of Cyberpunk Ghost Story, which I think would be all fun games to play rather than 2077. Yep. I think there were more features than actual features if you catch my drift in 2077. But Minecraft has some of those same types of features. Oh, then we're not thinking the same features. They were made into features. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. I was thinking more of the features that Sense has.
and look at these features. Yes, those are some very nice features. Yeah. And we, uh, I guess we could talk about the game. Is that the hat as the wallpaper? Yep. Yeah, we, uh, the bowler hat that Mr. Legs likes to wear. So, I told you I fixed up my 3D printer. I went through about 10,000 lines of code to figure out what the error was. Mm -hmm. I had to change the word disable to enable. One word out of 10,000 lines of code. But now I have to go the settings because apparently it was for Ender. The. What I got was for Ender. Pro B2 instead of an Ender 3 Pro, which is pretty much exactly the same, just wired differently. Uh, just, just... Now look, I finished the level! Yay! On to level 4! Oh. oh, wait, this is the one with that problem. <laughs> A, uh, a feature which will continue through the rest of the game's levels. Yep. Which is who this is? Why do you need the credit card number before even talking to the patient? Like... Yeah, though we'll, we'll get uh, into some. We are ridiculous levels of, uh, you know, stuff entry. Uh, and I will be disconnected and mocked by our staff. I understand that all that is time management and resource maintainment is an uh, important thing to teach kids, but. You show this to a child, I think they'll ask for Breath of the Wild, where you're doing just about the same thing, just... I'm pretty sure the child would be like, What is this game? It doesn't look like Roblox. Yep. Honestly... I honestly think Ro Roblox was made to try and compete with Minecraft, but it's not really meant as a kid's game for some reason. Yeah. I, for the longest time, I just thought that Roblox was like the Duplo to the Minecraft Lego. Uh, basically, but different company. Imagine if Steve had access to Roblox weapons. Why? The Ender Dragon would be a total team pushover. Why? I uh, purposely ignore learning anything about Roblox. The Homer Simpson tax system would probably be the way to fix this game. You know how Homer Simpson does his taxes? He sits up he sits on the toilet to do the thing and he keeps all the 
return of receipts underneath the toilet. Which, God forbid, if that's that thing barely able to hold its weight, does the springs leak in the oh. plumbing systems? Uh, I think you'd have to be pretty happy to you know, break a toilet under your weight. Homer's not the lightest guy in the world, though. Nor is he the heaviest. Yeah, that would probably be Clancy Wigan. <laughs> Didn't he take, like, a sniper bullet to the stomach and... Well, somewhere in his belly rolls. Yeah. I'm thinking of the, the scene where he gets shot and he's like, Good thing I'm wearing my Kevlar vest. Cut to it hanging in the car. Damn! Oh. You can say the vest makes you look slimming, but... I don't think the, that's the kind of outfit that does slimming, it's mostly bulking. Well, when you're covered in... Well, when you're covered in black like that, man. Yeah. Titanium Kevlar and all. Honestly, if you could direct, if you could choose one superhero to make a movie out of, who would it be? Um, I pick Zantana. Ooh, that would be fun. Scarlet Witch, but more powerful. Uh, I would say. Solomon Grundy. I know he's not a hero, but has kicked Superman's ass when it's needed. Yeah. Like when you're when a zombie is giving truth justice in the American way a run for its money. Mm -hmm. And to see his story from start to end would be amazing. Born on a Monday, married on a Tuesday. Etc. Etc. Yeah. Died on a Saturday. Resurrected on a Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here's my idea. For you know, you do the Santana movie, but you make it look like a Russ Meyer film. Throw Josh Constantine and and Doctor Chip in there, and you got yourself one kick-ass movie. Yeah. The greatest detective in the world. You know, if the people running the uh, DCEU were better at the jobs, we'd already have a detective Chip movie already. But seriously, they would have had it animated instead of live action. One of the DC animated movies tend to turn out better than the live action fair. Seriously, that just makes a lot more sense. Did he not even get his battery fixed? No, you're just stuck with your... Depleting battery and bowel problems. Wow. That's a way to go about things. If you could take the cutscene engine of one game 
and turn it into a movie, what would it be? Um, from what I saw of the trailer for the one new One Piece game, I'm thinking that. Yeah. I'm thinking of a, van a vanilla wear engine. That does fun facial effect in Yeah. Uh, the one thing that, uh, that we really don't need is more uh, Hollywood video game movies. We just gotta give up on Hollywood in total. Yeah. Uh, they, they can have their little local uh, award ceremony. And then we can just um, go anywhere else for good movies. Yep. The, the, the animation category for the Oscars is proof enough that it's a joke. Ooh, let's go to new rounds for movies. Yeah. Um, or after still have meeting between sessions of game ropes. Look, I finished the level. I forget what it was even about. Obviously, not getting your phone fixed. Yeah. This is too. Aww. Yeah. That's he have, does he have to keep his dog off the. Off the couch. Yep. That or he didn't see the text, but that's uh, or uh, we're calling the vet to have her dog fixed. Oh, sad. I I don't think you can fix a dog in such a way to keep going off the off the things surgically. Basically. Right. If you're calling the calling the vet for that, I would say just let him be for the time being. Yeah, but uh, the dog can then, like, when they get up on the couch, they can see into the outside world and start barking at the people walking by. Not like they disconnect you for having a dog barking in the background. Yes, but I won't annoy Mr. Legs. Fair enough. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I haven't done any research into this, but I'm going to call keeping the couch cushion up. <laughs> while waiting for the dog to jump onto it. Dog canceling. <laughs> That's genius. Uh, I'm sure we'll see me perform a excellent dog. Yep, there it is. If there's speed runs for this game, I think we found it. I'm pretty sure a speed run would actually finish the game. Fair enough. Probably like Tic Tac Toe, the best winning move is not to play. Yeah. I know there are such a thing as any percent speed runs. That's really more regarding the items you get and not just. Like uh, I'm done with the game. Like Dr. Muto, unfortunately. Yeah. Have you played that game? No, but I have watched the Nitro Ride video. 
They ship. They changed the map at the last second, so not all the collectibles were available. Yeah. So you can only any percent speed run, not one hundred percent speed run. Uh, um, and the show sure. cool content and and references in there. I'm sure it's some um, industrious uh, gamers could, you know, change the map so that they you can actually get those collectors. It's all on a GameCube J disc though. If someone can read and modify a GameCube disc, more power to them.